my mom, my mom one time was getting her back blown out by my Whoa, stepfather. Oh my listen to me. God. Listen to me. My what the mom, fuck? My mom was getting her back blown oh out by my God. stepfather. And I can hear, bro, I can hear it. Bro, they had that old school fucking springy bed. And I'm like, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Fuck okay, I go so- in, I open the door. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, I'm fucking angry. Because this is my stepfather. Like, it was just me and my mom for a while. I don't even like this motherfucker at this point, you know? I hear you doing here, you know? And she's like, oh, the VCR's broken. (laughs) And I'm like, bro, Bro, I got another story too. This is going to be fucking amazing. Bro, I'm fucking blown away right now. I go in my mom's room, bro, and I lay on the bed. I lay on the bed, and it's just me and her. And she's laying down watching TV. And we had the illegal cable box. And we were just chilling there fucking. I put my hand under her pillow. Why are you going like and that? And I'm like, That's fucking weird. Because I hug weird. it. I hug your fucking mom I'm and you're going the, like this. I'm, I'm hugging, hugging the pillow. 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 I'm hugging the pillow. So I, I go that. around. I hug the pillow. And right as I'm like going over to rap, I feel this thing. And I'm like, what, what the fuck is this? The key to success is finding two middle-aged white men with money who will fund your operation, you know, and you can fucking make anything happen. But what do you honestly, bro, honestly, though, like, what do you, what's your, what's the best case scenario, bro? Like, you send a dick pic. What's the best case scenario? She's like, cool dick, bro. 6.5. That's a really you know? handsome dick you Well, like, there. what are you Rated. expecting? Are you expecting a rating? Like, like That's dope. a thing. Shit's fat. <laughs> you know, like, what do you expect? For, to, and you're sending it to this fucking, like, middle-aged woman. Like, who's here to work out, and she's fucking doing jujitsu, yeah, and you're like... Right. Taste, here's my hey, dick. Hey, it's 8 o'clock. Here's a picture of my dick. Uh, oh, shit, I just got out of the shower. Do you get titty pictures sent to you? No, I do not. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> that was such a fast yeah. reply. That's a yes. Kurt, <laughs> listen to me. Totally Babe, I've never gotten... <laughs> A fucking pair of tits in my DMs ever. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Fuck is your problem, Kurt? Oh. Podcast over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is your problem, This Kurt? is the first and last episode of One Show. There's a process. That server. is not, that's not how pro- you start a podcast, Kurt. You don't start a podcast by asking me if I get fucking titty pictures <laughs> in my DMs. There's a, there's a process server at the door with divorce papers right now. What is wrong Nikita. with him, bro? <laughs> I know for, bro, I know it. <clears throat> I know it. You know what? I know my wife gets dick pics. You think so? For sure. And, and you she think I've you? never and she I've never asked you? her. I've never Bro, I don't think she wants to tell me shit. She well, tells me like, "Yo, these dudes are crazy," but like that's it. She won't go as far but as But here's the thing. Right? I don't want to know. Bro, I honestly don't want to know. Bro, I to, I was talking to my boy the other day about this shit. He cuz he said it. He was like, "Yo, if, if wifey was fucking around with me, I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know." If my wife was doing dirty shit behind my back, I wouldn't want to know. Dude, be clean with it and smart. Because if I find out, I'm going to lose my fucking mind, bro. I'm going to lose my mind. So just be smart. Yeah. You know? If you're going to get some dick, just do it. What you don't know doesn't hurt you is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Do it quietly. You don't don't agree? You want to know? You go through your girl's phone? Be honest. No way. You go through your girl's phone? No. You? Never. Never. I don't go through my girl's phone. But that's because you don't want to know. That's because you don't want to know. You don't go through her phone because you don't want to know. I feel like I don't go through her phone because I don't think she does anything. <laughs> She's I feel the same way. Day. Yeah, but yeah, every, wife, everybody, bro, kids. everybody thinks that their wife wouldn't do anything. And every day we hear stories. Bro, you dropped some knowledge right now. And right? Now I'm freaking out. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm, 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 look, <laughs> Kurt, wife your wife right isn't <laughs> fucking the neighbor, I promise. You know? And maybe she is. I don't know. Maybe she is. Who knows? Ooh. You don't think so? What? You don't think that like that that wives are out there banging fucking dudes? Yeah, of course they are. No, no, I'm saying like everybody, every guy assumes that like my wife wouldn't do that. Well, because women and men are different about that shit. Like the women uh, are the, emotional. Like men are fucking idiots. Like guy brings the fucking mistress to the fucking six year old's birthday party. You know what I mean? Like fucking and like like does stupid shit. You know what I mean? Like women, women, I feel like they'll do something and they'll keep that hidden forever. Like, like they, they, yeah, they, yeah. they're, they're, um, well, they'll take that shit to, to the death. No to the promo grave. clips on this part, you know? <laughs> this is deep yeah. in the podcast. So if you really got, really got to be a fan if you're going to fucking find this part. Um, <clears throat> this uh, podcast soon to be sponsored by a divorce lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take, I'll take whatever I can get. We'll get bunk beds and we'll just live here. I'll take whatever I can get. I don't give a fuck. <laughs>
Um, it's the dick pic thing is crazy though. Like you think that like also like a sober dick pic. Yeah, but he has he has he has a thing about the dick pic. So like, no nobody's taking. Do girls really pics. like? You women? don't think so? I mean, if if it's happening at the frequency, not unsolicited, not happening. not nobody's taking sober dick pics unsolicited. If you're taking a dick pic sober, it's because you have a fucking you have a problem. You, you have a relationship. Like no, you have some sort of Boy, fucking he's got a big dick. The girl. Or the you girl. Show it off. No, but here's my thing, though. <laughs> you, you think guys? Like, you think guys are little dicks? <laughs> you think guys are little dicks who send a dick pics? Probably. It's like dick pic really? culture. Well, I feel like a lot of guys just don't know they got a little dick. Mm. Right? I'm sure there's guys with little dicks who are like, "Yo, this shit is fucking serious. This shit is fat. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's going out to the masses." <laughs> You don't think so? Yeah, no, definitely. There's definitely guys with definitely. little dicks like, what do you think of this? You think there's like a real lack of self-awareness on dick size? Absolutely. Yeah, for yeah. sure, bro. But I mean, 100%. maybe not today, though, because there's so many dicks out Show there. me a dick. No way. <laughs> Show Mine, me a dick. Listen, right mine's ne- do, not, not nearly impressive enough do, to be shown at all. Let's just do it right now. <laughs> I'm let's a grower, not a let's show just, Let's just fucking whip them out. Let's just whip them out. This guy's trying to fuck me. Uh, well, you got the money. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck guys with the money. No, I mean I'd rather it because I'm handsome. You know, I mean fuck you. Um, um. No, I was gonna say something. Here's the thing. Like, th- there's nothing attractive about a dick. You're telling me no. that the girls out there, like, like, like chicks, like, oh my god, that's a beautiful dick. I don't like, know. Like no bro. fucking way. Yeah, but we but don't. I, we well, listen to me, bro. We don't think a dick is attractive. I'm sure there's women. I don't out think there chicks think dicks are attracted are attractive. by. I don't think so, bro. I mean, you telling me that women aren't attracted by. I dick. mean, I got a beautiful dick. What you have a listen, listen to me. Your dick is pink. Your dick is pink. All right. It is a shade of pink. Your dick is not nice looking. You know? How do you, you not know? know that I'm not my, black from the waist down? My dick, my, my dick is brown. Gray. Yours is gray. No, it's not. It's gray. gray. What am I dying? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Why would my dick be gray? Why would my dick be gray? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that is so weird. Why would you say that? Yeah. Your dick is your dick is gray. Your dick is you have a gray piece. Uh, I think we're gonna make it on this podcast. I think it's gonna work. I think yeah. it's gonna be big with the gay guys. <laughs> I hope so. Whatever, they got money. This guy keeps coming back to the fucking money thing. We should make Jesse's lower thirds like fucking he's gotta have a dollar sign in it somewhere. <laughs> How many hours a week do you work? Me? A lot. What time do you come in? I'm thinking it's I, I'm thinking it's in between the it's probably t- towards the seventy hour range. Seventy hours a week? Yeah. You work Monday through Friday, or you work Saturday or Sunday? Monday through Saturday. You don't, too? I, I don't work on Sunday. Yeah. Monday what about Sunday. you, Kurt? How many hours a week you work? All together. Yeah. Probably like 50, 55, 60. What time do you come in? Depends. Sometimes I come in at fucking six thirty in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, do jujitsu. And I'll stay to fucking. No, not to do fucking jujitsu. No, but I'm saying, like, I mean, I'll come it's in. Okay. I come in. Sometimes I come in in my pottery class. <laughs> I have a pottery class at seven. Sometimes I like to go there. <laughs> no, but I'm saying when you average, come in to work. Average, yeah. like if we're running the fucking calculator on average, cumulative, probably in between seven and eight. You know, in the morning. Seven. Eight, that's uh. not bad. Seven <clears> eight in the morning. You're fucking here forever. Because every time I come here, at fucking five o'clock. You're here. Yeah. So what do you go home six seven? No, so what I do is Tuesday and Thursday I work the whole fucking thing. On Tuesday and Thursday I'm here in the studio until probably like midnight ish. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday I try to get out of here around four o'clock. This wifey bitch that you fucking no, not through? really. She's she's always been down for the shit. You know what I mean? She's always been supportive of of, of what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I mean sometimes I push it too far. What about you? Your wife bitch? Mm, I don't have any kids, so my wife works probably the same yeah. amount of hours that I do. It's nice. But yeah, it's it's hard. Kids suck, bro. <laughs> you know? I know. That's why I don't have any. And also, I can't have any. Why not? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> why not? You got no dick? <laughs> <laughs> I got a great dick. Your penis is gone? <laughs> My dick's great. Penis. <laughs> no, we just decided we didn't want to have kids. I bro. got one dog. It was a fucking disaster. And like I'm like, if I can't get this thing going, <laughs> I'm not bringing kids. That's not dog. true, though. I had a dog before I had kids. Yeah. I had my dog, I had Max before he was a pit bull. I had him before I had kids. My first dog was named Max. My you know what happened to Max? Was named Max. 
It's a true story. Ma- yeah, but Max is the most common dog name. Dog. It's Wait. not like I named him a fucking Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking. Uh, my first dog. My dog, named, dog was yeah, named like, Max. No, like, my yeah. dog was named Max. But, but like my dog was also named Max. Is named Max. Yeah, you're Max? like look at you look around like what was your second dog's name? Fido. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. wait a second. <laughs> your your fucking dog was named Max. Wait, so here's a real story about my dog Max. This is real, right? So I don't know, probably like six, seven years old. I'm like a little kid playing in the street, and there was this girl lived behind us, and she was like playing with us and everything, and everything, and everything. like being little kids, and like we ran into the backyard, and like my mom let Max out of the out of the house, and this fucking dog bit this chick's ass off. What do you mean bit her ass? Chicks, off? he he fucking like <laughs> attached to her butt cheek and like pulled fucking skin off, like he bit her ass off, like they tried to sue us and everything. It was a whole it was a crazy thing. Had to put the dog down, killed him, and everything. Oh, they killed the dog. Killed the dog. Had, the dog had to go down, because I mean, he just bit this little fucking girl's ass. My boy, my boy had a dog. Oh. He used to always run away. He fucking bite everybody in the neighborhood. And then one day, <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding, bro. Bro, he fucking. This is a German he, Shepherd. This is a pit bull. Yeah, but I mean, he would fucking bite everybody. So, my other friend was like, "Yo, I'll hide him." Because the cops were going door to door, bro. Looking for <laughs> oh, this dog. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's no bullshit. Fucking... Looking for the dog. Looking for the dog. Wow. And so my other wow. boy was like, yo, I'll take him. So my other boy took fucking him. Fucking down. My other boy took the dog. It's a down brother. Bro, but this but this dog was like, he was so sweet. Like, we couldn't understand. To you us, never know. He was so sweet. So he took him. and was like, yo, I'll fucking take him. Like, I'll hold him, you know? Wow. And then my boy's grandfather came over one day. And the fucking dog attacked him, bro. Oh, man. And fucking chewed him up. Grand, holy shit. Isn't that fucked up? Wow. Yo, dog you never get... know with these dogs, bro. Yeah. That's why when your fucking Doberman was <laughs> right by my dick, <laughs> bro, that fucking dog, and she's like fucking with me, dude. She's like, like, <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch doing you with her scared, face? Bro. You guys scared, bro. I was scared, like... bro. I was scared. Bro, Yo, I was, but... I'm not gonna lie. I was fucking scared. I'm like, oh shit. Like, she's fucking, and she's like sniffing my nose. She's like, motherfucker, I'll kill you. You know, <laughs> bro, I was, I was fucking scared. Like they don't like, like, w- like a lot of people, this is a thing that I learned to where like a lot of people, they get the dog, they open up the door, they say, go out and run around. It's not enough. But that, need and, the and, and it makes them worse because all they do is just fucking lap yeah. and the anxiety just fucking grows. Yeah. They need dogs like that need like intentional, like yeah. intentional training. But there just, needs to be two of them. Yes. Yeah. You know? But it's yes. my fault, bro. Cause like, I'm so fucking busy. What am I going to do? It's always, yeah. it's always I, the same thing. I, I don't even know what to do. Five pound dog. I feel terrible. Dog's home alone all the time. Come home, she's neurotic. I take her out on the leash. She's attacking fucking dogs your size. She thinks she can do whatever the fuck she wants. But yeah. she's, it's just energy. You know? I brought my dog. Yeah, but it's different with a big fucking dog. Yeah, totally bro. different. Totally yeah. different. Your well, dog scared the shit out of me, bro. I'm not. Gonna Yo, lie. this guy's <laughs> that dog. The, the history of this guy's dog, though, seriously, like I knew what was coming with this dog. He's his whole family has had those dogs for forever. <laughs> and what he doesn't remember, and my favorite story of all time, is his one of his other dogs bit my ass. <laughs> I swear to God. And he just we were, conveniently forgets. We were... Uh, keep going, keep going. We were fucking... Uh, <laughs> we were fucking in his pool at his at his house, at his parents' house. We're in his pool. We fucking drag the, you know, like the pool. You drag the portable basketball net. You're playing basketball in the pool. The fucking ball goes out of the pool. I'm in there with my shirt on, obviously, in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> you wear you wear he wears the white shirt. Got he wears the white shirt. Yes, yes. Or just his nipples poke out. Yes, about, yes. I love I love when fat guys wear a white shirt in a pool and think like I'm covering it up. It's like yo, that shit is skin tight, baby. That well, shit like is water skin shirts tight. Now? It's like, like skin tight water you ain't shirt. hiding nothing, motherfucker. You're not fucking hiding nothing. People wait, wait, just, wait. Keep going with the story. I, go, I, go, I, go, I go. fucking have So that. the ball goes out of the pool, and it's not easy for me to get in and out of a pool. You know, especially if it was above ground pool. Yeah, but he's you know? spry though. He's spry. He's a lot so more I get spry off the think. ladder. I get out, and but like the dog, his fucking old dog would just fucking do laps around the pool, wire it like a fucking shark ready to strike. You know, so I jump oh. out. I grab the ball, but like everybody knew, like this dog's fucking coming for you. You know, like you got to get the ball back in and you got to get in. Get, or like really going to bite you? Like, yeah, but like, you know, you never knew. She was playful. Was it he or a girl? It was a boy, Sammy. It was a boy, yeah, yeah. So I'm fucking, I'm like, I get the ball. I'm like, yes, I'm safe. I'm climbing up the ladder. All of a sudden, 
Fucking dog bites me right That's in the so ass. That's so fucked up, bro. I would have sued you, you bitch. I would have fucking sued then you. Then you do the thing where you're like, you're in the water. I'm like under the water, like screaming on the water. You know, you hurt yourself in the pool. You scream on the water. <laughs> yeah. Bro, there's not, bro, a vicious dog. There's nothing scarier than a fucking like. My dog's Bro, my dog. dog's 110 pounds. That, that, that bitch is crazy. That's big. That's big. She's big and she's, she, bro, if you see her. that's big for a female. Yeah, bro. Yeah. She's huge. But he told me that when I first got her, he brought her out. He brought out three puppies. From Germany, and he's like, he's like, which one do you want? I'm like, uh, I'll take that one. He's like, she's big, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Like, I'll take the big one. Give me you know? big one. <laughs> My wife's like, she's she's really big. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. You know, now I'm like, fuck, bitch, you're so fucking big. Why are you so big, bro? Wow. She sits down, bro. She she's just so strong. Yeah. I let her out of the crate. She like pushes my leg. I'm like. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, fuck, bro. Wait, wait. I got a good fucking dog story. When I was looking to get my dog, I was, like, calling breeders and shit. And, like, nobody had dogs. It's like, wait, three-year wait list, all kind of crazy shit. So <clears throat> I'm on the internet, and I find this guy's got Dobermans. And it was actually a girl. And she was in, uh, I don't know, like, fucking somewhere around here. Like, Freeport. Yeah. Maybe even Hempstead. Um and so I go there. Listen, I would never get a Doberman from him. <laughs> if you got a fucking, if he got a Doberman <laughs> from him, it's like, yo, I got him in my yo, shed. No, but wait a second. I got six of wait, them in my wait, shed. Wait. Pick what you want. Yo, wait, wait, get the wait. Fuck out of here. Wait, wait, wait. So fucking, but no, wait. So I find the listing on the AKC website. Like, so the AK AKC website has like this classified section, right? So I I, I call and like, yeah, yeah, I got I got three puppies. Sends me fucking pictures, cute little puppies. So I go to, it gives me the address. I go to the address. I got my wife and my two kids with me. That's the right. whole fucking family. Pull up, get a text message like, yeah, I need 10 minutes. And I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. Standing in, in this guy's fucking driveway, I'm standing there with my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> so, so 10 minutes comes and goes, 20 Terrace minutes. Terrace Avenue. 20 minutes comes and goes. Next thing you know, this motherfucker pulls up in a white Benz like this, like creeps up in front of the house like, yeah, you Jesse? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? Fucking <laughs> so he's like, get in the back he's, seat. No, he's like this. Yo, follow me to the park. And I'm to like, park. I'm like, what? Yeah, there's a park down at the end of the street. He's like, follow me. And I'm like, I got my fuck. And my wife looks at me, and I'm like, I, I'm like, like, Daddy, the, wait, where are we going? Wait, the kids are like, Daddy, where we're are going, going to the crack house, hey, buddy. Wait, 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 we'll wait, be right back. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, so many thoughts are going through my head. Like, a, I'm like. I probably should leave because this is definitely bogus. This guy don't have no real fucking Doberman, number one. He's going to rob me. No, yeah, he's going to rob yeah. me. Number two, I'm like, if I leave, my whole fucking family's going to think I'm a pussy. Like, <laughs> my, my children are going to remember this when, when they're 30. What a loser. You remember when dad fucking pulled up to him and he was too scared to grab the dog? What a fucking loser. So we went. We went. Fucking, we go to the park with this guy, lets the dogs out. They're playing and shit, you know? And like, I'm trying to talk to him and like, He's, he's, I'm like, yo, because he's like, yeah, I got the paperwork. I got the AKC paperwork. He fucking, he, he pulls up his phone and he's trying to find like the records and shit. And like, he's just cruising through his phone. Like not, no care in the world that I see it. Garbage bags of weed. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, that's just heroin. That's cocaine. And but then, like, here's the dog you want. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, want. yeah. The little one, her name is Perp. Perp, you know, because that purple A's. I'm like, what? I'm like, Bro. yo, we got to go. We got to go. I drove, I drove fucking, uh, I drove like eight, Rome, New York. That's fucking yeah. far, bro. What is that, like five hours? That's far. Six hours? Yeah. I drove six hours to get it, max. And it was fucked up, bro. Like he, bro, I'm a fucking idiot. I got there. He was fucking shitting on the, the dog was, <laughs> he was shitting in a corner, like diarrhea. All the other dogs were like healthy. Yeah, you can't eating get the, the dog food. shitting on diarrhea. You and I'm, I'm like, oh. Give me the big one with the diarrhea. No, I'm like, I'm like, oh, he's so, I'm like, he's so fucking precious. And Wait, my, you chose that one, bro? I fucking chose. Like you're there. And he told me not, bro. That I talked to the breeder. He was a piece of shit breeder though. Like he had like, it was in the hood. Like, like you think because it's we upstate, to, like it's legit. Yeah, I'm but like, <laughs> oh my god. I go in. He's like, yo, it's popping. It's downstairs. I'm like, oh, okay. I go downstairs. He's like, there's a bunch of dogs, dude. <laughs> One of them's great. Tommy bought the other one. He fucking, uh, the, the beautiful dog. Mine is in the corner, shaking, fucking skinny, you know? I want the shitty one with anxiety. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I want that one. He's like, nah, don't take that one. 
And I'm like, I want it. Like, this is what I came fuck here you, for. Tell me. You know? And he's like, he's like, all right, like, fuck, go ahead, take it. You know? Bro, what's so fucked up is I took her, as I was bringing her out, her mom screaming like a fucking, like a hyena, bro. Like, Aah! Aah! I was like, oh, shit. What yeah, your fuck? story's worse than mine. Bro, like, the, like, bro, I the cry mom, right now. Yeah. the mom was like fucking 140 pounds. Bro. Wow. That's I a big like, bitch. Yeah. So when I got Max, I fucking, you know, I was like, all right, like he's going to be big. He, bro, he got super big and super aggressive, wow. like really bad. But we had him in the house all the time, so it wasn't a big deal. He was cool with everybody yeah. in the house. Then I moved. I got an apartment with wifey when she got pregnant. And he thought, you know, he's a dog. He thought the whole apartment building was his. Hmm. So anyone he saw... He tried to fucking attack, bro. It was wow. fucking terrible. So I had to give him back to my mom. And I abandoned him pretty much. And he's dead now. <laughs> he's dead now. So what are you going to do now with this dog? I don't fucking know, bro. Wow. I don't, I don't, I'm ready to fucking... I don't know. You can break her out of that, though. You definitely can. I talked to the train. The train's like, yo, but you, you need you need to put the time you in. You got to put the time in. And it's... <laughs> your dog, bro. Your dog's definitely going to bite somebody. No way. <laughs> 100% your dog's going to No, gonna but I'm, I'm going to tell you Listen, the secret. John, please. Definitely. I'm telling you right now. Kurt, I'm calling it. His fucking dog is going to bite somebody. No way. Bro, he had that dog here like it was like no big deal. Are you he's kidding like, me? She was down here like, like the look, queen. She's really like, look at her. Dog. She fucking just got spayed. And she's <laughs> fucking, her ovaries are gone. And she's a new dog. And I'm like, I'm looking at this bitch, bro. And I'm like, you giving me my dog vibes. <laughs> and my dog is a cunt. And your dog's going to bite somebody, bro. She was, I could see by the way she's looking at me, bro. She was like, she wasn't looking at me like I'm trying to figure out who you are. She's like, yeah, I'll eat you. I'll eat you. And she knew I was intimidated. Yeah. She fucking yeah. knew it. She's looking at me, and I'm like, I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, Jesse's just like, ah, good girl, you know. And no. I'm like, fuck, this bitch is gonna bite me. No, leg. what's really yeah. funny though is like people who don't know how to be around dogs. Yeah, Yo. you know, like yeah. like. You gotta go up to that dog and you gotta treat her like she's a little puppy. Yes, you, know? you have to rub. Her. But I did that. Yeah, I did that. I rubbed her head and you then she fucking stitches. and then she went. She's not into that. And then she went. <laughs> and she fucking. She did this and I was like, "Alright, bitch, you got it." Like I'm not Yo, touching you. There's people you that good. come through here that you could tell like, <laughs> are so, so fucking awkward like, around oh. dogs. There's also like there's one kid that comes through here and he wears this weird hat. Oh man, this was so good. <laughs> this was hysterical. What do you mean a weird hat? Oh, dude, like a cowboy hat. Give it to him to open it. You're gonna you drink those dick? warm. Yeah, these are warm. Those are warm? Yeah. I'm not drinking them warm. Holy well, do shit. Do we have any cold? Or yeah, out. we got to get them from out there. We can open the door. Here, give me. I'll hold it. Why are we giving these fuckers promotion? Listen, you're going to have to pay. <laughs> you're going to have to pay, sir. The uh, Yeah, so this dude, right? Ro Gibino. Guy's the man. He's a good dude. But he wears this like weird fucking like... Uh, like cowboy hat, but it's not a cowboy hat. So Barcelona. The what? kid that was here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. red bit, red bit, red, red, red bit. Yeah, yeah. Dog don't like that hat. No. <laughs> Something about that hat, this dog does not like. It's like seeing red. Really? Yo, she goes nuts when she sees. He guy. walked in with that. She's like, <laughs> oh, oh, she started growling. Dragon. Bro, shit. your dog is fucking crazy. He's <laughs> a killer. His, your dog is fucking crazy, bro. No, but I keep you. But see, you didn't see that. Well, yeah, I think she had it. Like I keep that, bro, that, that I can polka tell, chain on her bro, neck. Like, I can tell because with, that don't mean shit. That pincher doesn't bro, do anything. You bro. don't think so, bro? My that's the thing with like these types of dogs. Like my dog won't. She'll just chill. Yeah, but here's the thing. And I'll, then fucking eat you. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean the, the 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 possibility for 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 violence out of a dog like the dog I have and the dog you have is always there. It's always there. It's more than any other dog, though, bro. But the thing is, is what I what I, I think the reason why I, my dog is not gonna bite anybody is because I started bringing her here around everybody, like when she was eight weeks old. So she's been she's been with me, like like I I kept her here every day with me for probably like the first four months that I had her. Like I didn't start leaving her home every day. That's what I want. That's a good point though, um, because that is the difference. That yeah. I bet you that's the difference with your dog too. No, it's the see, difference with my no, dog. Bro, I, I call, never bring her around dogs. I never and, bring her around and, people. No, me me either because it's hard. But look, I, when I first got her, bro, like literally first couple, the first day we got her, she was so quiet and like didn't do anything, yeah. and we were chilling. And she, you know, we tried the crate trainer, and the next day I grab her, and bro, she just the next day. She starts fucking. I'm not even fucking, bro. I'm not even exaggerating. And I'm like, yo. And she was little. I think she was just picked the shitty dog, listen, bro. She's this. She's little. <laughs> you picked the one that had diarrhea, yeah. bro. She's Day this one. big. 
listen to me. She's this fucking big, bro. And she's grunting. And I'm like, you know, she's little. So I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know, like, <laughs> shut your fucking mouth. Like, I'm the man, you know? I'm looking up YouTube videos. You're like, make sure How you're... How to dominate the dog. Make sure you're the alpha. I'm like, shh, quiet, bitch. <laughs> I'm barking at her. Shit. <laughs> Nothing's working. She doesn't give a fuck. So I call the breeder after, like, days of, like, trying to get her to relax. And he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, that's, you know, German Rottweil. I was like, she's German purebred. Rottweil. She comes from two sport breed bloodlines. Like, that's her job. She's, like, she's going to be yeah. aggressive. So I'm like, all right, let me take her to trainer. Training. This was, like, two days in. Yeah, I take her to one of the best fucking trainers in Long Island. He does all these German dogs and shit. I bring her, and he's like, do me a favor. Walk into the... I'm going to be in the garage. Go in the garage, and just don't say anything. Just walk her. So I fucking... I walk with her. She's this fucking big, bro. I walk her in. She tucks around my legs, in between my legs, drops her fucking legs, and goes... <sighs> to him. Uh. And he... Bro, he looks at me and tells me... That's the most aggressive <laughs> fucking puppy I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, all right, so, like, what do I do? And he's like... <laughs> give he's her like, away. <laughs> he's like, let's give it six weeks. Let's do the first fucking... It's called puppy kindergarten. He's like, yeah. let's fucking do it. Let's see how she gets. And during the whole thing, she bro, she, she got so much better. Yeah, yeah. She did get so much better. But she was still fucking, like, out of control, bro. Mm. Like... You got it, bro. If somebody walks past my house, she is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like yeah. embarrassing. I was, I first got her. I'm trying to walk around the neighborhood. I just moved to this fucking, I'm in this all white neighborhood. I'm the only Puerto Rican fucking guy. <laughs> I'm walking around this big German Rottweiler. My neighbors are this like, This guy's definitely a drug dealer. Yeah, honey. they're like, Hey, Kevin. I'm like, I oh. think he sells cocaine. I'm like, Hey, man, how you doing? They're like, And he's like, Cool dog. He's with his son playing baseball in the front. <laughs> And he's like, cool dog, man. She looks super... Bro, I'm, I'm not even lying. He goes, she looks super friendly, you know? And I'm like, yeah. And I can hear her. <laughs> and I'm like, like, I'm like... I don't want to fucking, fucking eat that little kid. Bro, I'm snapping. The, I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, he's fucking embarrassing. What happens? He goes to walk towards her, like, to, like... And he takes one step, bro. And she's like... <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, my gosh. She's just a little nervous. I'm going to bring her inside. <laughs> Sorry. You know? Yeah. I bring her inside. like, fuck. Now she's in my backyard all the time. She's fucking... No. Screaming like a savage, bro. Anybody who walks past my house. No, you, I, I think that, like, when, when I got mine, like, one of the things that the breeder told me and, like, research that I did was, like, right away... Get them around as many people as possible. Yeah, yeah you got to socialize you gotta, them. Yeah, you got to socialize them. And also, get them around other dogs. So, like, I started, like, I have, like, in, in my neighborhood, at the end of the block, we have, like, this uh, private beach park thing. And there's a dog park there. So, I would, like, bring her out to the dog park and, like, kind of just fucking, you know, do the thing a little bit and, like, you know, white people shit. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy just told me he has no money. He's like, I... He's like, so sometimes I walk my dog past my private beach. <laughs> and this fucking guy, he's like, he's like, I'm poor. Sometimes I drive my Range Rover with my Doberman Pinscher and we drive past our private beach. You know, like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. What's going to be funny about the dog thing drug is money, like, you know? whenever, like for like TikTok or wherever we're going to put this, like we're going to put the pictures of these two guys' dogs and then this is my dog that I took. <laughs> oh, that's fucking bad. Crazy. This is a bad dog, right? Bro, here. no. Listen, this I'd rather... Dog. See, but that dog bites somebody, it's like, ow, you fucking bitch. Yeah, well, you know, the, like, the, the, control dog your dog. bites somebody, you don't have to kill it. My dog fucking <laughs> bites somebody? Bro, my dog bites somebody, it's a lawsuit. It's over. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's over. a lawsuit. No, you got to kill it. You it's like, you fucking, she ate yeah. my child. You know, it's like, fuck, I'm so sorry. You know? Oh Bro, Yo, one last dog story. I mean, she probably said this to, like, fucking really seal the deal. She probably lied. But. Who? The breeder. Oh. But she was like, yo, you know who was in here two weekends ago? The weekend. <laughs> and he believed it. He believed it. And then, wait, wait, wait. So He's I'm like, like word? Funny, wait, funny, give me that like, dog. It's all funny. It was like, you know who's been here two weeks ago? DMX. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> give me no, that dog. No, but, so then, but then I'm on Instagram, right? I love The weekend. I follow The weekend. Shout out, Abel. <laughs> um, who's Abel? That's his name. Who? The weekend. His name is Abel? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. I didn't know his name. So I'm, I'm, name? I'm, I'm, I'm doing the study. What a loser. <laughs> what a loser. I'm going through his story. I'm, I'm going through his stories like I'm a stalker. No. I, his story comes up on the thing, and he's got a fucking Doberman sitting right there. So my dog's the weekend's brother. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the weekend's dog. The dog. weekend has never been there, ever. <laughs> he's like, yeah, apparently the weekend drove down to Hempstead and bought himself a Doberman. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck out of no, here. No, because the true 
story is no, I didn't get didn't. it though from the breed. I actually bought it from Pookie and Evstead <laughs> at the park. <laughs> that's my dog. Yo, that shit was so hysterical, man. Who's is that? Jesse's that's his dog? dog. That's his dog. See, yeah. look. Singer oh, introduces shit. fan to adorable new puppy. See, I'm not lying. After he got done with Selena Gomez, <laughs> what was he doing with Selena Gomez? He was fucking Selena Gomez. He used to like go out, right? Yeah, I think so. Did I tell you Selena Gomez's stepfather reached out to me and tried to manage me? <laughs> what? I swear to God, sounds gay a little bit. Yeah, I got a I hit her stepfather. Oh. He sent you but a dick pic. He, no, but he tried to fucking like tell me to change my comment. That's a nice looking dog. What is that? It's Kevin Love. That's like a Weimaraner. Kevin Love. That's a nice looking dog, bro. I mean, he, that's a fucking great and, picture. That's a nice. And he's dog. He, bro. He's so huge. He's fucking huge. Wow. How big do you think his dick is? Oh my god. <laughs> you think he has a big dick? Keep the dogs and dicks on this podcast. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely gonna be the name. On well, today's one. episode, dogs and dicks. We had, you start, Cheeto. we had to start somewhere with no plan. You think Kevin Love has a big dick? Definitely. I think every basketball oh, player shit. has a huge dick. You know what's <laughs> fucking weird? Though? Like this so. guy's like seven. Imagine he's this guy seven feet tall and he's got a little dick. That would be fucking embarrassing. Well, I'm sure there's, I'm sure Big there's guys? a couple NBA players, bro, that like go to the bedroom, and the girl's like, "Damn, wow, that's fucked up." Sorry, buddy. Like meaning, like she was expecting the snake, mm-hmm. and she got the caterpillar. That's why you got to get married, bro. Like me. Then, like, so then they know what they get. It's okay. You yeah, know what they get. It's like, listen, that. bitch, it's been the same for the last fucking sixteen years. This is what you get. That's really what marriage is. It's like, all right, you accept my dick size. Let's make it for the rest of our lives. You know, <laughs> let's make it out. Baby. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm a little worried about what this podcast is gonna do to my marriage. No, Me we too. won't put it out Me until too. you watch it. No, but here's the thing. Well, I mean. On our side, like anything we post on Viola. Like, no, but we should like record. We, we should actually say this on, like, on camera. <laughs> no, we're doing it right now. Doing what? This is on recording. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 like I, I'm really, I'm like, I feel, bro. I, I, I when I'm in, when my, I'm my wait, most comfortable. Tell me about it. I'm gonna say, I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna say something I regret. What? Do you and my wife's gonna be like, and she has it on camera to show her lawyer. You know, at that point, what you, it's like, it's, can you imagine? She's like, I want a divorce. And I'm like, why? She's like, I have Exhibit it all on a, camera. Motherfucker. And I go to court and <laughs> she's like, you know, she goes for custody and I'm like, I'm a great father. No, it's real. I love look, my look, children. And cute. it's like, look at him. He just spent the last 30 minutes talking about dicks, you know, <laughs> and fucking dogs. Dicks and dogs. Is that the guy I want taking care of my children? No. You know? And yeah, what, the I mean, fuck, what the fuck do I say? I was going to be like, and who chose that fucking zebra print wall behind yeah. him? <laughs> and it looks fucking stupid. <laughs> he doesn't even have good people around him. John's a dick and Jesse is the fucking womanizer. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm exactly. pretty sure that's And I'm going to be in court. I'm going to be in court. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, I'm going to call. I'm going to call Jesse and be like, your fucking lawyer you gave me? He fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. He's no good. Oh, my God. Will she watch everything uh, from front to back? What? Yeah. She'll say she won't. But, baby, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. She's going to be like, oh, I, I love you, Nikita. She's going to watch every fucking minute. Yeah. Every minute. Oh, I can watch it. Yeah. yeah. And then she's going to take notes. I didn't really like what you said there. And... <laughs> I don't really <laughs> like the shirt you're wearing. <laughs> and who's the I, asshole with the zebra print wood? Yeah. <laughs> and the wood looks fucking stupid. <laughs> What's funny is that, like, none of the three of our wives, my wife doesn't know what goes on on the internet. Nothing. No clue whatsoever. Yeah. I my mean, wife now, has no, it, my wife used to never fucking know anything about the internet. But now, like, you know, because we've been doing these videos, bro, she hates, bro. And everyone always bitches, like, why don't you show your wife? My wife doesn't want to be shown. Sure. Bro. She doesn't fucking want to be on camera sure, because you yeah. guys are savages and you write crazy <laughs> shit in the comments. Bro, these people are nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. And they'll hit you like deep. You know? Like, like they'll how? hit your daddy issues. You'll be like, oh fuck. God. You're like, I fuck you. I love him, you know? Yo, I mean, I, I can't believe he left me. You know? Well, like that's the type of shit. They'll hit but you I also deep. feel like that like oh, it's always with the nostrils. Well, yeah, I got. And you put, no, but you put that out there though. Like, yeah, but I see your shit. I do. I said this the other day. I was like, "Yo, I record like this because when you see me in person, you'd be like, damn, (laughs) he's solid.' You know what I mean? (laughs) I record like this, my worst angle. I look like a fat fuck, you know. And then you see me in person, you're like, "Huh? I deal me. You're okay." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty solid." (laughs) You know, it's the it's the best case scenario. Wait, do you read all the fucking comments and all the DMs? Uh. For the first hour, I do because right. I try yeah. to respond. Yeah, 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 yeah. But after the hour, I don't. I don't really look. Yeah. 
If I looked at everyone, I'd probably be fucking clinically depressed. Definitely. People are savages, bro. Hell yeah. People don't give a fuck. They spend their whole, like, night, like, just trying to figure out how to fucking shit on somebody. And sometimes <laughs> I'll DM these people. Because I'm, like, genuinely curious. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd be like, hey, bro, like, you're a fucking piece of shit. But just a question, why? Like, why are you such a piece of shit? You know? And so it's like, oh, mean, sorry, man. bro. But people will be honest, bro, and they'll say it. They'll be like, oh, maybe I'm just a little jealous. I swear to God, bro. Like, that's what they'll say. And I'll be like, oh, I appreciate you being honest. You know? But where does the fucking, like, instinct come from, like, to just be like, yo, you're a fucking asshole. I hate your nostrils. I want to fuck your wife. Like, like how does that happen? Well, people, bro, people are insecure, bro. Everybody has insecurities. Like, oh, I'm fucking no, insecure. No, of course, but like, to, but to take that insecurity and then to go like on the attack. But you're a bit, bro. These people are not busy. These yeah, are people yeah. who fucking have a job. They go home and then they're not doing shit. You know, these people don't have, you know, they have plenty of time to be like, I'm gonna fuck with this kid. You know, remember when we did the West Industry Project and then fucking somebody was like, "Who's the fat guy and the other fat guy is balding?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I get a lot of fat fucking, comments. Like, yo. Also on West Industry Athletics, one guy was like, "Who's fat Tom Brady?" <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's fucked up. No, they call me fat, oh, less fat but balding guy. Yeah, but you I know what? Like, wow. Small sample size. And this is interesting. Is like the guy who called me fat Tom Brady then quickly asked. When are you going to have me on the show? Ah. You know? So it's like, it's just jealousy, you know? It's That's like, all it is, bro. You're afraid people, to put yourself yeah. out there, so you're going to tear yeah, down yeah. people who do. And, a, and the fuck, that, bro, the worst part about fuck like you, making Sal. shit is in the beginning, when it's only your friends and family that yeah, can see yeah. your shit, bro. In the beginning, that's the worst That's part. when you get it the worst. Bro, because yeah. then it's your, it's people no, you because love. Because people you know don't want to see you fucking shine, man. No, bro, people you love who are like, you can just tell. Like, they don't even have to say it. Yeah. You're just like, oh, you making this shit? Like fucking stupid you know and i'm like i'm like fuck that shit fucked me up most because in the beginning you're only posting for friends and family and every single one of them is like i don't know what you're doing bro like this shit's corny the best what are you what are you hoping for and then you'll explain in detail like look man like you know this is a business i have fun doing it this is dope you know me and wifey enjoy it like and what if we can create a business from it why not you know they're like so you're trying to be famous? <laughs> and it's like, nah, I mean, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, She's like yes, motherfucker, yes. Yeah, but, in the, you know, back then, you're not going to say that. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to be famous. You're like, yeah, like, you know, trying to fuck it. We're just going to keep doing yeah. our thing. Like, what are you doing, Bill? It's, it's never going to work, bro. And you're like, all right, you're a fucking Did you learn that in your time in Hollywood? <laughs> but, bro, that's how no, people No, but the are. best is, like, when people who don't know shit, like, start giving you, like, technical advice. Like, you know what? I watch a lot of movies, and I... Uh, My I'm brother just called Netflix. me the other day, and he said, uh, our old barber, he was like, uh, he was like, yo, they were like, uh, what's up with your brother? I guess he didn't know I was doing the whole TikTok thing. And he's like, oh, no, he's chilling. He's working. You know, he's doing his TikTok thing. He's like, what do you mean TikTok? So he pulled up my videos and shit. And he said his, some other dude that was there was like, bro, you should be telling him he needs to be doing this and this and this. And it's like, <laughs> I don't really like the lighting about? and the camera angles. They're like, oh, listen, if I need to know how my fade looks, I'm going to fucking come see you. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> you what know? the fuck are you talking about? Yo, give me a number six <laughs> yeah. you know? on the shot. He needs to be doing it like, what the, mind your fucking bed. What do right. you mean I need to be doing? I don't need to do shit. Right? You know? It's incredible how people think like they got fucking, like they don't, they know. And like they, and they don't hesitate to tell you. And bro, and it's so funny, like even like with family, like you can just tell. But like, I they guess, don't even have to say anything. I guess like when you do this type of shit, you got to know that you open yourself up for that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, you know. You got to eat it. You're looking for attention. Bro, wifey got upset the other, like two weeks ago. Somebody said something and her mom reached out to her and was like, took like a screenshot of it and was like, of what the person said. And it bothered my wife. Wow. And I was pissed, bro. I was what like, what the fuck? It was, it was, it was bullshit. It was, I don't even want to say it because it's about wifey. Anything with wifey, I try to, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, fuck this bitch. Like, she, she doesn't even know you. So I told her mom, I'm like, listen, like, you can't do this shit. Like, you can't, like, she doesn't read the comments for a reason. Yeah. Leave it alone. You know, she was like, no, she completely understood. Sure. But like that type of shit, bro, that shit drives me crazy. But that's why I tell wifey, like, don't look at the comments. But I feel like, I mean, it's not nearly as much. But like, I always tell Megan about like when we do the sales thing and like we're reaching out to people. Like, it's like a video game. It's not real. Yeah, it's not I feel real. like that's even more so. Yeah, it's like it's you can't real. even like these people. They're not real. It's not a real. They think thing. they know you, bro. Like, and you have to just have that level of like let the rain just roll off your they shoulder. They think they like, know you. They think going. they think you. They know you as human beings. And it's like, bro, if I told you fucking quarter of the shit me and my wife have been through yeah 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 you know like but it's also like a drug 
a little well, bit. With the attention, yeah. And reading the comments. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was well, thinking about it last night because you were here the other day. You are doing the vlog and you put that shit out there. And I was yeah. like, I got to read these comments because we're in this shit. I want to see what someone, someone's going to say something bad about me. But as I was reading through them, and they were mostly positive. you know, about, Mostly. Mo- for mostly the vlog, positive, yeah. But I was like, as I was reading through it, I'm like, yo, if we're going to do this, I can't look at this shit. No. You know? Well, you got to know if you can and you can't. Yeah. I can because... I I enjoy some of the banter back and forth. Like that's like, different. Like, like let's do I it, don't brother. Fucking like, like I'll fucking crush you. We've done you. like fucking fifty podcasts as we've. I don't think I've watched one of them. I was. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> Bro, that's I got, different. That's that's. that's not talking about. That's because he's a fuck has an ego the size of fucking Manhattan. <laughs> no, I just, so no, I just like, keep moving. I've done forty-seven podcasts and I've oh, only seen rush. none. You know? I'm in a rush, man. I got to go to the next thing. In, in that vein, I want to ask if anybody's ever experienced this. This is a real thing. I think about this from time to time. Have you ever taken a piss and flushed before the piss is over? Yes. I do that shit all the time. All the time. All and right, I do I'm it and I'm like, oh shit, it did. Yeah. I hope it ends at the perfect time. <laughs> yeah. I hope it ends at the perfect time. I'm like, come on. All dude. right, I feel better. Let's go, baby. You know, and it, like, never, it never happened. There was you a point in my. It was no. a, you never did that? Because there's a that's, point. That's like, Hispanic fucking, shit, yo, baby. Bro. Mostly because I'm sitting down every time I pee. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. John, that is uh. honest, my brother. <laughs> that is honest. Because, bro, I was going to do a video about, about sitting, sitting down, down when I pee. And then at night? I, Yo, no, I'm not bro, in, front. in the morning, when I'm fucking tired, bro, I'm not standing up all night. <laughs> I sit down, I hunch over, and I'm like, <sighs> and I just fucking let it rip, Yo, baby. Nighttime, I like- let it rip. And people, bro, and it's so funny because, like, I know for a fact that there, uh, most men out there sit down once in a while to take a piss. But nobody talks about it, bro. Mm-hmm. I have yet to hear it fucking anywhere. And I know that there's men out there who are going to be like, thank you for saying it, brother. You know, <laughs> thank you so fucking much. Like, I've been no, trying to get it out for years. Different kind of comments. I know, I know there's men who are like, fuck it. I'm just going to sit down because I'm lazy and my legs hurt and I don't feel like holding my dick. I want it to flop down and just pee in the yeah. bowl. I'm tired of peeing all over the place. Bro, I st- I'm 32 years old. I still can't fucking aim when I pee. <laughs> still. Still. I'm still like, fuck it. And then you. Like, fuck it. I'm not ripping some toilet paper off to wipe around the rim of the toilet. No, no nighttime. Uh-huh. Nighttime. Like, I wear contacts. I can't see. I'm like, fuck, I can't see anything. I'm sitting down to being, you know? Yeah, but fuck I, you, know, bro. Wake you up. Got, and then you got to sit down like a man. You got to put your fucking... That's right. Put your phone you in your hand, you know? Look at Instagram. You know, it's not <laughs> it's not girly if you sit down like a man, you know? Or you just fucking sit there. Bro, at night, I fucking... Let it splash into the water. You bro, push. I edit my YouTube videos on the toilet. <laughs> uh, on the toilet, on I edit... On your phone? Yeah. You edit your videos on your phone? No, my, my MacBook Pro. Interesting. Yeah. I do it all the time. What's the average time you spend? It? Well, actually, I got a better question for you two because you guys got kids. I only have a wife. Like, when's the last time you were in the bathroom taking a shit and someone didn't say, "What are you doing?" Oh, oh my uh, kids! What? Fucking my bro, kids! Like, I can't walk take in. it, bro. Nineteen eighty-seven. I, I only go yeah, in at definitely. night. I only go in at night because they're sleeping. Dude, bro, but, if I try to take a shit during the day. Are you fucking out of your mind? Yeah. It's like, oh, my door. Oh, my door. Bro, what's even worse is like trying to fuck like when oh, the kids are God, awake. Man. Bro, that is horrible. God, I'm fucking the kids are awake. <laughs> wait, how, wait. Bro, wait, wait. the other day, the other day, me and wife are like, we'll like close the door and be like, she'll tell him something. She's like, sit here in color. Like, Get out of your room. Don't move because me or I got to help dad, daddy with the laundry, you know? And they always like right away, bro, show up and they're like, what are you doing? Yeah, they're like, oh man, door! They don't even start. What are you doing? Oh man, door! And we're like, fuck. I'm like, fuck. And I'm like, so we're like, you're like right there, bro. You're like, shut the fuck up. You and you're gonna hear, oh man, door! And I'm like, don't listen. Shut the fuck up. Just ignore it. They're not really. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. <laughs> because Wait. I know she's right there. I know she's right there, and I know the the hearing of the voice will fuck her up. So I'm like, shut the fuck up. You haven't been fucking her because then she'll be angry. She'll be like, fuck, I ain't fuck. Like it didn't happen. But have you, you ever know? been fucking and they came in? No, bro. No, I won't do that to me. It, it happened. I locked the door. It happened to me once or twice. Oh, oh. this scarred for life. No, bro. no, 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 no. But fucking like, like, like. Were you like, doing nasty like, shit? Like, like covers, like, like I was able to oh, get the covers. Oh, oh. Able to get the Can covers. Can you imagine, you know bro? I mean? My like, mom. They had no guy, idea. They had no idea. This guy oh, had a leather my, collar on around his neck in his kitchen. Bro, my mom, my mom one time was getting her back blown out by my stepfather. Listen to me. Listen to me. What the fuck? My mom was getting her back blown out by my stepfather, and I couldn't hear, bro. I can hear it. 
bro, they had that old school fucking springy bag. And I'm like, and I'm like, what the fuck is that, bro? So I'm like, nah, I'm like, I fuck it. I'm like, fuck it. I go in, I open the door. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, I'm fucking angry. Because this is my stepfather. Like, it was just me and my mom for a while. I don't even like this motherfucker at this one, you know? I'm like, what are you doing here? You know? And she's like, oh, the VCR's broken. And I'm like, bro, that's her, that's her excuse. And I'm like, the VCR's broken. And I'm like, I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, all right, maybe that was the noise, you know? And I remember as I got older, bro, I got another story too. This is going to be fucking amazing. I, bro, I'm fucking I go, blown away right I, now. I go in my mom's room, bro, and I lay on the bed. I lay on the bed and it's just me and her. And she's laying down watching TV. And we had the illegal cable box. And we're just chilling there fucking. I put my hand under her pillow. Why are you going like and that? And I'm like, That's fucking with Because I hug it. I hug your fucking mom. I'm hugging you're going the, like this. I'm hugging the, the pillow. You know what I mean? I'm hugging the pillow. I so I go it. around. I hug the pillow. And right as I'm like going over to rap, I feel this thing. And I'm like, what, what the fuck is this? So I fucking pull it out. I hate this. And it's I silver and long. Shut the fuck up. It's silver and long. <laughs> and and, it, and I, it has a turn thing on my And I turn it. I'm fucking, I'm like seven. Oh my God. Oh, and it just goes going. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? And she grabbed, bro. She, she sees it. She grabs it. She's like, it's for my back. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. And, and it was fucked up. It's like, I'm like, all right, no doubt. It's a back massager. No doubt. Like, that's so what's up. this fucking guy grew mommy, up 25 years mommy, old. He's got mom, dildos on his fucking neck and mommy shit. Mommy got a bad back. Like, it's all good, though. And as I got older, I remember being like, damn. And I remember going out there and I was like, Mikita, I remember, why you got the back massager that, in the fucking drill? That, that shit was for the back of your ass. That's, that shit was hard, bro. Not your back. Oh, fuck it. My mom's wow. going to kill me. Wow. Bro, wow. this wow. is what happens when you give me fucking tequilas. Bro, you know? Cheetah, this is actually never coming out. <laughs> no? No. I mean, this has got to be like a Patreon thing, I'm pretty sure. Like, we can't put this out there for free. This, is, only, this is for the OnlyFans channel? <laughs> Bro, my mom is gonna kill. If yeah. this comes out, she's gonna kill me. This is the shit that will fucking go crazy. This bro. is funny though. This yeah, is the shit that will go crazy. Wow. My mom would be like, "You motherfucker, <laughs> you actually told people about that." You know? And I'm like, "Mommy, I was fucked. No. Up. <laughs> Mommy, I was drunk. I was fucked up. You know, I make mistakes. Oh when I was drunk." <laughs> sound like Rosie Perez for a minute there. Remember really Rosie don't, Perez? Remember her? My mom does sound like Rosie Perez. Really? Yeah. Wait, so I got a question. You're Puerto Rican and Colombia, right? Mm -hmm. Which which culture is stronger? I didn't grow up with my father, so Colombia, for sure. Your father was Puerto Rican? Yeah. Yo, Pops. Oh. Bro, I always... Bro, I always... <laughs> bro, I... <laughs> I've been thinking about this forever. No one's like, ever gonna I, see this episode. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Fucking let it out, no, bro. We're killing. Let, kill it. It. What? let what? it out. Bro, my, yeah. He's like, oh, nah. it's Wednesday night. Oh, we're gonna release this tomorrow. He's like, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we should. Do I always day. think about what. Yeah, how you do, do, how do you day. feel about getting us some more cheetos? <laughs> you think my father watches my shit? I don't know. You think I? I no. When you start making money, he's gonna be like, Papi. Nah, he, bro. He you don't talk to him at all. I haven't spoke. I speak to him once every like couple years uh, same situation my dad i didn't talk to him forever passed yeah. away i met him year. well i met him when i was nine and then it was like on and off for a while i would see him like every other weekend for like a couple months and i didn't see him for three years yeah, and then shit. like yeah so it's like you know i do i know who he is yeah but sure do i know him as a person i have no Give idea pink, pink pink but what's fucked up is like we never had a good relationship i met him when i was you know 10 years old Nine, ten years old, and then we never really got to bond. But as you know, as I got older, I kept wanting to build a relationship with him, but it just never worked. Yeah. And eventually, I stopped trying. But then, when I got married, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna try." Again. I was like, "I'm gonna try again." I'm like, "I'm, I'm gonna get married. Like, I want him to come to my wedding." My mom was like, "Yo, I won't go." Really. <laughs> Isn't that some, that's some real that ghetto sucks. Hispanic shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? She, that is. That's some ghetto. She was like, I won't fucking go to your And then eventually she like was like, I'm not. I'm just talking shit. Like, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. But he showed up to my wedding. Bro, I was I, I bro, I was so nervous that he was there. Bro, I got hammered. How was he during the wedding? Uh, I cried. When I gave, when I did my vows with Nikita, uh -huh. I was fucking, 
That was a moment. I never cry, bro. But like that was a moment where I was like super fucked up. I fucking started to cry. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even fucking read the vows, bro. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and he stood up at one point and was like, "Puppy, you can do it." Like wow. whatever. And I was like, because I know everyone else in my family, my uncles and my mom. I know they were like, "Shut up, bitch." You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. And he was like, "You can do it." He starts clapping, and everyone else wow. starts clapping. I'm like, "Wow." Ugh, it made it so much worse, but. When he was dead, bro, it's fucked up because, like, I got so fucked up that night just because of that reason. Wow. Like, I was just so nervous that he was there. And we were talking, bullshitting. Like, it was fucking crazy, bro. It was, was it this what night? What is it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, oh, how this the is, fuck, this how is, the fuck do you get this sketch? Bro, this is our engagement. This is oh, when we got engaged. Bro. Oh, oh, this is fucking hilarious. Wow. That's the day I engaged, I proposed to Nikita. Bro, you look like fucking Poppy <laughs> Chulo, bro. You look like fucking, bro. bro. No, you know what it was? We po- I posted a video, and I was like, and people were like, oh, how beautiful the video was of me proposing. And I, wa- I just want people to see, this is us, bro. <laughs> like, this is us. Not the fucking 20-second video you saw of me proposing. Like, that was a cool moment. This is what we look like, bro. I love that. Is that Ricky? That looks like Ricky. Wow. Yo, you the fireball, huh? Look at her screaming at her aunt. <laughs> Savage bitch. <laughs> Savage. That's Shut the fuck up. That's a great picture right there. That is. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, how can you have that on the wall at home? Because that's real life, baby. You don't fucking post real life. You right. don't fucking guy, post real life. Now it's completely off. Yeah, now it's a. <laughs> bro, <laughs> hour later, I'm naked, baby. I'm naked. <laughs> With that tie around your neck. Yeah, I'm <laughs> naked with the tie. Bro, you, at my wedding, bro, I was throwing up in I front really of Fox Hollow. I fucking smashed at my wedding, too. Yeah, but I was throwing up in front of yeah, Fox I, Hollow, I, I bro. I didn't throw up. I was throwing, <laughs> it was embarrassing, bro. It was embarrassing the day after. At the time, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, whatever. I got married in the DR, bro. In the fucking strip mall. That's dope. I, I wish I would have got married. Bro, no, but I got fucking, like... Like, my shit was, like, fucking... Like, oh, not like a fucking... Mm. Destination no, wedding. No, we no. Like you got married in a plaza, bro. I stole his wife from the deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so Take it easy. He's like, mommy, do you want to visa? You want visa United States with me? You know, she's like, okay, puppy. This is definitely going on the Patreon. Okay, okay, puppy. You know, he's a private beach at the end of the block. Mommy, I have private beach. Mommy, private beach in Suffolk County. You ever been? You ever been in Suffolk County? Private beach. It's a private beach down there. You know? Oof. Welcome to the lunchroom, and I'm, bro, I'm telling you, I'm gonna regret this. No, I think you're gonna. I'm gonna regret this. Probably.